Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Dave Tenedorio, otherwise known as Master Dave. This is my right-hand guy who's on my left right now, uh, Mr. Eddie Matias. Uh, he's wearing my older shirts. This is a system that uh, I created, I'll be honest with you, uh, and I'll tell you why I created it. Uh, it's Chung Shimdo, Art of Balance. My background mostly was heavily into Mudaquan, Tangsudo Mudaquan. Eventually, it went to Subakdo Mudaquan. I always called it Tangsudo. And uh, uh, Odan. I ranked Odan, and I broke away years ago for my own reasons, and you've seen my other videos about that, so we're not going to get into that. And one thing people think, I hate Tangsudo, and actually I don't hate Tangsudo. I think Tangsudo in its oldest form was probably one of the best martial arts I've ever seen. I mean, it inspired kickboxing, inspired a lot of different kind of innovations in martial arts. But like all stylized martial arts, eventually they become uh, very uh, artsy-fartsy, or they, they kind of lost the martial part, and then the dough part becomes too relevant. And then if you go too martial, you also don't use the dough part, the philosophy, you end up with just a bunch of people beating each other up. So we got to find a happy middle. Now, one of the contentions, you've seen my previous videos, uh, the lost fighting applications of the traditional one steps of the Mudaquan. Um, I'll do that one up again uh, in a better format uh, next time for you guys. So we're talking about Hoshinsul. So Hoshinsul, if you look at it, it means body protection technique. So that's basically anytime someone invades your personal space. Hoshin Soul could be, he comes at me a little too close and trying to tell him to step back. That's Hoshin Soul. He grabs my shirt or on my arms, my wrists. That's kind of like the, that's Hoshin Soul. Now, Hoshin Soul leads into what we call, uh, later you call Yusul in Korean, which is also uh, the pronunciation of jujitsu. So, Yusul is where Hoshin Soul starts, and then all of a sudden you're into these grips. Maybe I've got him in a headlock. Maybe I'm starting to try trying to take them to the ground. And there are some very good Korean applications of Yusul that, that work very effectively to get you back on your feet and, and into safety. Well, that'll be another video as well. And I'm gonna start with actually the same arm grab system. If you remember the same arms, I'm gonna demonstrate the classical four. Um, they may have been altered over time. I'm not really going to get into that if the Mudaquan does not differently or other Tangsudo groups doing differently. I'm talking about my traditional four that I learned when I was an orange belt in the Mudaquan system back in the late 80s, early 90s. So uh, there's always been four. And one and two are always releases and escapes with strikes. The threes and fours in the system generally were manipulations or wrist locks or even throws. Okay, so that was kind of like their philosophy. Now, uh, I trained under William Johns uh, Jr., very prominent uh, high-level master in the Mudaquan, and he had a lot of insight into Hoshin Sul, and also a lot of the uh, uh, instructors I had did as well. Uh, so let's just get into it. Let me show you the first four, and then I'm going to show you the interpretation they were supposed to be taught as and why they're taught wrong in most martial arts schools, uh, not just Tang Sudo. Here. All right, so... You have traditionally same arm grab. My left grab by his right. Okay, so number one, this one I remember was like the release, strike the elbow up, down to the groin, throat strike, finish here. Okay, number two, he grabs, grab the ball, chop, knee strike. Number three, come here. Number three was the uh, was the one with a uh, walk under the arm. So you would come underneath. I learned it with an arm bar originally, then a walk. A lot of people just went right for the turn. And then you would do this punch, kick, or you would do a throw. The throw is the way I kind of learned it. And number four was like another, uh, another like lock or, or, or release. You would come in, bump in, release the hand, make this lock here, striking this way. All right, so those are the traditional four. And individually, there's nothing really wrong with them. They have some good merit. But what's wrong is sometimes as instructors, if you don't delve deep into it, you start to realize that you're not teaching the true form of that or the reality scenario. If you, if you learn those, that's great. But if you stop it just like back and forth, I bow, I grab him, he does whatever, he wants to do a release, he wants to hit me. That's his personal style. 
And I go here, he grabs me, and I come here, and I make the knee strike and chop. And that's all you do. You're failing your students because that's one part of it, okay? The reason why there's four, and it was always explained this way, and some people had a different interpretation. The first two are always a release. He grabs me, I hit. He grabs me, I grab back. Okay, some kind of like release or grab back. The threes and fours were always like some kind of manipulation, locking the arms or what have you. But why? Why is it like I'm trying to strike, manipulate? Why is number three really supposed to be he pulls me and four he pushes me? Okay, that was very evident as well. So we have to, have to really examine this. And this is the way I kind of came up with it. Hosun so leads to yusul. Leads from starting trying to grab me, stop me from grabbing my weapon, stop me from trying. This reason why people grab you on the wrist. If you're a kid or a young woman, they grab you on the wrist. They're trying to pull you away, right? Maybe they're trying to drag you to somewhere you don't want to go. Um, if it's if it's like something that maybe I'm in a, in a position of authority, I'm, I'm an officer or whatever. I'm reaching for my weapon. He grabs me. He's trying to pull the hand away. I can't get to my gun, my my knife, my stick, whatever it is. He knows I have a weapon. That's where this all comes into play. So it's a fight. It's, so you have to look at it as a fight. Once I got all four of those down, if we break it down, he grabs me same arm. I try to hit his hand out of the way. He stops me. He's trying to punch me maybe with that hand. That's why I'm blocking. I'm trying to hit here, but now he opens up his body. He's trying to grab me back here. I'm trying to come here, but he's still kind of like maybe stops my arm. So he kind of underhook there. I make the knee strike. He double palm blocks it. He doesn't want me to hit him. He pushes me down. I grab here. I do an arm bar. He fights me a little bit. I come this way. He's fighting. He pulls his hands out. Now we're in this situation. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to finish this way. And then maybe take him down. Okay. So you can see how it all flows now, right? Again, he grabs me. Punches, punches me. Ah, you're not going to punch me. I'm trying to hit, opens up. I snake, he snakes, stops my knee, fights back, pulls his hand. I can't do it. Turn around the other way, surprise him. When we practice them that way, once you master them, then you truly understand the philosophy. And you have to tell your students that the reality is I can train you in many different ways in the studio, but the traditional techniques will only work if you work them in a non-traditional way. We learn static for rote memory, right? I have to learn that. He has to hit my arm. Then we have to go to non-static, which is like sparring, right? That's why we do a one-step drill or, or whatever you do, a kickboxing drill. It's static. It's on pads. Then you add movement, and then you spar. And, it, and it's so different when you spar because they're not there. They're not kind of in that position. So if you teach Hoshinsville, and you should, teach them something like this after they've gotten to their core techniques. Advance them through that. Make them realize that anything can happen, right? So that's why I think the techniques are good, but they're taught wrong in many schools, and we have to kind of keep our mind open about how to apply them. All right, see you guys soon.